What's wonderful about the Aurora Public School System is the way they handle our bonds. In the last bond, every single school receives some type of improvement. So all of our students and our staffs and our parents and our communities could see in their neighborhoods what was going on in each and every building. We've got tremendous momentum going on Aurora Public Schools, and one of the key interest items for the future is the bond. Research clearly shows there's a direct tie between uh, the facility that a school district has and student achievement. We know that. We also know that it's an important asset to a community because people take pride in their schools and where their children go to school every single day. And so what's our bond going to look like? Our bond is going to look like $215 million if and when the board approves it. And what it'll allow us to do is be able to take the recommendations that have been part of our long-range planning community made up of our citizens. This bond election will not cost the taxpayers a dime. What's exciting about this bond proposal is that it will provide improvement in every school and benefit every student and staff member. Over half the schools in the Aurora Public School System are over 40 years old. At Gateway High School, we have just celebrated our 35th year. And with any aging building, you have to keep it in good repair. Right now, when it rains, our roof leaks, and we have to put up trash cans up and down the halls and in our classrooms to catch the water. Um, think about your home. You wouldn't want to live in your home and go to bed at night worrying that the rain would hit you as you sleep. So same at Gateway. We want our kids to be comfortable and in an environment where they can learn. We are excited about the possibility of a bond. Our building was built in the 1970s with the open classroom concept. And what that means is that it was built without walls and without windows and without doors. And uh, this is, is not a very conducive design for students and their learning. And what the proposed bond uh, would do for us is allow us to have a whole building remodel, uh, which would really be best for students. The previous bond allowed us to build two new K-8s, Murphy Creek and Aurora Frontier, and it also allowed us to majorly renovate a number of our current high schools. Um, but those high schools are now at capacity and even over capacity. The Murphy Creek students travel over seven miles to get to their current high school. So the new bond would allow us to build a brand new high school, and I know that the parents are so excited about this possibility. We haven't had a mill levy increase for Aurora Public Schools in the past 18 years. The budget proposal is critical because it will help us to attract and retain high quality staff members and teachers in APS. What we know to be true is that what makes a difference in the classroom for every student is having a high quality uh, instructional learning environment. The budget proposal will ensure that we can do that by being able to attract the very best teachers and staff members to Aurora Public Schools. The budget proposal will also allow us to support existing programs such as the Truancy Intervention Program, Community Partnerships, and Parent Engagement. And it is going to give us a capability to start our children young with full day kindergarten. Technology would be supported by both the bond and the mill levy. The bond would actually lend to student achievement through adding support for the infrastructure. So let's say, for example, the bond would support communications, email applications, and any multimedia transmissions that would happen between sites, whereas the mill levy would support software in the classroom, for example, Scholastic Keys, which is a student interface of Microsoft Office and allows for a very easy transition as they move from elementary to secondary schools. While the bond is going to be offered with no tax rate increase, uh, the mill levy override uh, will be a tax increase. It's something that we have not asked the community to do since 1990. The bond, mill levy override, is going to do a lot of things for us that are going to help us prepare our uh, children even better for the global economy of the future.